Herminia Rodriguez is 101. For 40 of those years, she's worked on this footpath. A widow with no children, Lola Mameng, as she's known, says she'll stay here until the day she dies. I don't want to be too much of a bother, child. One must do what one can do. And if you can't, then you must suffer through it. That's how life is, child. Lola Mameng's situation is rare in the Philippines, where the elderly are usually cared for by extended family. But more people are now fending for themselves. Many wander the streets until they're found by social services. This is the largest of only four government-run centers for the elderly in the Philippines. Spread across 10 hectares and made to look like a local village, there are 240 clients here at the moment. They get their needs tended to for free round the clock. To be accepted here, the elderly must have nowhere else to go and no family to care for them. Their numbers were always small, but that's no longer the case. The government estimates that close to 1.5 million elderly people have been left on their own. And social workers are concerned that many have been abandoned on purpose. So institutions like this will take them in at no cost to the family. The main reasons why they are here because they were abandoned by their own uh, children because of uh, work opportunities outside the home. Their children want to earn uh, to survive and that nobody left behind to cater the elderly needs. Lourdes Honrado has been here since her husband died three years ago. As best she knows, her children are working in the U.S. She lost touch with them years ago. Even if I'm not with family, I'm grateful to God that I was brought here. I am lucky. I don't go hungry. We have medicine and someone to care for us. We have everything here. More families are asking the center to take in their relatives. Some are even willing to pay. It's a development social workers say is reflective of a change in Filipino society. But on a sidewalk in the heart of Manila's old town, Lola Mameng prepares to sleep for the night. She won't be moved, she says, no matter how much the world changes around her. Margot Digas, Al Jazeera, Manila.